And now, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at 77 kilograms, representing Antonio's gym. He has a fight record of one win, one loss, no draws. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Stasis Cadiz. His opponent, fighting out of the red corner, weighed in at 77 kilograms, fighting out of KFA with a record of one win, no losses. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Steve O'Halloran. This is a welterweight semi-pro mixed martial arts bout to be contested over two four-minute rounds. Right, so welterweight semi-pro MMA, two four-minute rounds. That's his case from Antonio's gym, one, one and zero. Steve O'Halloran from KFA, one fight, one win. And again, if you look at their body shapes, Josh, very different. Yeah, certainly a little more ripped is Kersis, but immediately in on the takedown is O'Halloran. And again, Kersis not putting up too much of a, a defense there. He seems to want to be holding on to the head here, but it's a good tight top side control for O'Halloran. And he's going to go on to now, and as you said, very easily got that control, Josh. And it disappointed me a bit. It was a, it was a right hand lazily thrown, and O'Halloran just slipped under it. Yeah, O'Halloran's working the body well here. Wouldn't surprise me if as soon as he escapes his head, he starts looking for something like a head and arm choke. I think there's perhaps a, a little bit of, uh, I don't want to say naivety, but, but a lack of experience on the ground here for, for Stasis Kersis. Yes, it was all too easy for Halloran to get this position. And at the weight, that's a big strong man to be on top of you. Yeah, certainly is. He's not particularly Come tucking on, his feet there's a few, or pinching his knees. There's a few things he could do to really tighten uh, this mount up. But of course, he has got his head controlled at the moment. So I think he needs to start trying to get his forearm on the face and really uh, you know, start levering himself free so he can get some posture. I was just about to say to you, how long do you think Mark Goddard will wait before he says something? But he's gone over and said now that he'll need to see something now, won't he? Yeah, and it's good awareness from O'Halloran to, to move to back to side control. Now he's starting to get the forearm on the face, create some space, see if he can free his head. and Let's see if he goes back to mount. Now his head's free, but really not a lot of technical jiu-jitsu on the bottom from uh, Karras. It's as you said, at the moment, it just seems to be a desperation to control the head and keep tight. Yeah, see, now he's looking to step to mount. He's got the opportunity for the head and arm choke. Again, he could set it up even all the way from this far side. A lot of options for him in top position, but critically staying busy enough so that Mark Goddard doesn't think about standing them back up. Yes, I think Mark gave them a little whisper and, the, and you saw immediately the switch from O'Halloran. Now, in fairness to O'Halloran, it can be very difficult sometimes when your opponent has no intention but to hang on to you as tight as possible. And we can see it was a, an energetic escape from Karras, but locking up the guillotine and rolling straight back to top position was O'Halloran. Yes, the most oh, um, Karras has tried to do it is for straight. He's had very little else, I'm afraid. Yeah, he, he got an elevator hook in and very easily passed a mount again for O'Halloran. Let's see if he can do something with it, though. But he's got to get some hooks here, though. And there we go. Well, you said you see what he can do. He didn't need to do anything, really. Stasis gave him his back. He gave it to him. Yeah, so, I mean, it was very... Uh, it was a controlled performance from O'Halloran. All he really needed was that first takedown. And the man from Antonio's gym really not having any clue whatsoever on the ground. And, you know, the, the submission wasn't long in coming. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner by rear naked choke in the very first round at 2 minutes 56 seconds. Fighting out of the red corner. Put your hands together for Steve O'Halloran. And big applause for his opponent, Stasis Caddis.